Hi, I'm Pat Gunn, and this is uh, the third episode of my Let's Play for Fallout 4. Um, in my last Let's Play, I think I was trying to make my way to Good Neighbor, and it has been kind of rough since I'm not particularly high level, and I do not have much in the way of decent gear, but I'm going to keep on plowing forward. I'm not actually trying to make it all the way to... I'm not trying to go inside Good Neighbor. What I am trying to do is put it on my map so that when I'm ready, uh, when I'm ready, I can just fast travel back there. So unfortunately, it's actually kind of hard to find your way in. Let's see, and I think if I follow this road, it should probably take me the right way. If I can manage not to get killed. Which, unfortunately, might end, up, might end up being a little bit tricky because, again, my gear sucks. But I might be able to rely on Codsworth again to do... To do most of my kill Now, I want here... Even that one blow really did a number. So I'm gonna see if I can not bad. That looks pretty handy. So again, it looks like Cosworth might be willing to do most of the, uh, the work for me, which is great. One of the big changes that I liked in Fallout 4 as compared to the previous Fallout games is that your companions can't die. I think in Fallout 3 they could, but it was tough for them to. I think in Fallout 4 they might have also been able to, uh, or I'm sorry, in Fallout New Vegas. because they still have grenades, and I think a, a, one solid hit of a grenade will probably kill me. Yep, there's another kill. So it looks like there's a certain symmetry, at least, in that. Oh, okay. So, uh, keep on hitting that button. I've been playing a few other see him way back there. See out. No, I'm not sure we can actually get close enough. Now this is my cup of tea. Just get warmed up over here. Okay, this is definitely fudge. <laughs> yeah, de definitely uh, talks to my point about um, about it being very symmetric, symmetrically deadly. Pretty sure we were heading this way, but maybe we can find a way not to head right in there. Still gonna see if I can get a few cheap kills though. Maybe that comes to softening, softening them up, and I can now approach from a different angle. Is that? That looks like there was a person there. Turn up, you're dead. Oh, maybe I killed that in, in my last go. Killed that cool. But... Sure 
that car is going to explode soon. But I'm not seeing the flint on it anymore. Maybe not. Okay, so how are we doing? We have a grenade. Don't need that or that. Or that. Okay, does that take us back down under? Yeah, again, managing infantry is probably one of the least fun things about Fallout 4. But that's kind of true of this entire genre. Investigating the old, my old location. Bug Maybe. Gotcha. Oh, no, they, 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 uh... Okay, but I think Cotsworth is engaging them. And I might be able to, uh, you know, slip up on them from... Well, not from this angle, apparently. This they is a dead end. Huh? Oh, no, it's not. Come on. I have not really made a lot of use of the go over, over there. there. Uh, or of commanding my companions yet in this game. what I wanted to do to do there to actually go and do some knife killing for me. It's probably not what, uh, it doesn't exactly fit the lore. The game, but, okay. Just in the sense that you, would, you wouldn't expect, uh, Household robots to be used in this uh, in this world very much for um, assault purposes. Yeah, I wasn't very smart in my past attempts at this, and that I had forgotten that you could actually do uh, you could actually command your well, companion at all. Radar armor, definitely not what I want. Oh. the sound I like to hear. I think you may have taken care of everything for me. Yeah, la uh, later on in the game this uh, relationship will reverse for at least most of the games. In that there comes a point where your companions are mostly there to draw attention rather than actual, rather than actual, uh, actually doing your killing. But, that is what I want to Nothing special. Head over there. Just 
that looks worse. Oh, there's still a person there. Hold on, go to that. Probably won't be for long. those other attempts, we've actually made to secure the area. And this is Haymarket Mall. If I remember correctly, some ammo that is good to have. If I remember correctly, there's a very dangerous indoor area just around the corner, which I'm not going to try because I'm already kind of pushing it. Somewhere here. Oh no, that's not a spotlight. Okay, we're gonna save because. And yeah, let's see how we're doing on the map. Okay, so we actually are not quite headed in the right way. We want to be following the road southwest or southeast of here. Okay, that is a less dangerous area if I remember right. I think there might be dogs nearby. Just a regular zombie corpse. Ooh. One of the fun things that you can do in this game is if you can manage it, you can shoot off your... Okay, this is not good. Makes sense to go into that even if you don't have. Oh, fudge. Even if you don't. Okay, this is not going well. Even if you don't have the, uh, the energy to score off the hit in it because it will aim for you. Oh. Son of. Well, shucks. Yeah, early game you actually have to worry about that a lot. Oh, and I was not being as diligent as I probably should have been. And just checking to see if there's foes ahead. Not sure we're up there. But... If you're very careful, you can manage to dodge their attacks, but it's not an easy thing to do. I'm going to switch, uh, again, to shotguns, which are considerably better for range combat. Ah, there's the dog that I was mentioning, probably. So here I'm actually maybe being a little bit uh, braver to make up for my uh, cowardice earlier by doing some of my own combat, or at least more of it. Okay, so somewhere around here were more ghouls. What can I do? Uh oh, yep. This should be fun. Definitely not one of my uh, prouder moments. Okay, let's some 
stuff we pretty clearly don't need. And also let's uh, heal up again. Again, canned dog foods, stuff like that, ordinarily not particularly worth using because it will irradiate you, but when you're already out on the road and you have limited supplies, it can make sense. Purely if you have anything that will help limit. Okay, there's also one other tactic. you can do. Stand on something that will prevent your uh, your foes from actually reaching you. Somebody can see me and I don't quite see where they are. But yeah, when, when it says caution, I think it means that some foe knows what you're going oh, And there's some super mutants ahead. It's not good. I'm not sure I can actually successfully avoid them, particularly at this level with this level of sneak. But we'll see what we can do. Okay, mutant hounds. That is also not something I really want to see because they're much faster than the super mutants, and so running away from them is not easy. There's some goodies here. And I'm not sure if I've ever really noticed this. This area on previous uh, Todsworth, where did you go? Todsworth, we have some abuse to deal out to you if we can find you. Oh, he's over there. Okay. Take a look. Wish I could, Mum. Go check that out. Sorry, can't do. Over there. Presently, Mum. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Check it out. Yes, he expects that foe of mine. <clears throat> oh, and he is down. Yeah, there's, a, uh, even at this very low level, there's an enemy with a rocket down there. Not good. Uh-oh. Fortunately, if you're very careful, you can make good use of this situation. Because all it takes is one hit for a suicide to go down. It seems like, it sounds like I still have the attention of some of my foes. Which is not particularly welcome news. Okay, up there. There it is. Gonna find you. I wonder if I can slip in here and avoid. I think that this was full of cats, maybe? Or maybe I'm getting mixed up between here and somewhere else. Okay, uh, Cotsworth seems to have been revived. Psst. Send Mom. him up. Just to check out the scene. Oh, no, can't send him up. There's no way for him to make it up there, but I can jump up there. I w oh, oh, there are stairs. Okay. Turns out I had completely misremembered uh, this area. I'm not sure if I've ever, ever been here in past uh, Let's Plays. That's another fun thing about Fallout, and that uh, as opposed to most games, you can very easily see entirely new places on successive uh, playthroughs. Okay. Probably don't need anything else up here. Some newspapers, why not? 
basically just about everything is potentially useful once you start doing settlement things. And I'm a ways away from that, but maybe not that far away. Okay, let's see how we're doing out here. Get into position. We'll go over there. See how we're doing. There's some gunfire, which is good because that's conflict between people who are not me. Head over there. anything else for us. Okay. Over there. Nothing would please people. This is delightful. Not sure if Cotsworth can actually Check it out. take on super mutants or not, but I think earlier in this let's play I just barely managed to get some clever. entirely intact. But the cup worth isn't even scoring any hits on Do I have anything? Because again, I'm being almost suicidally brave. The thing is, in an another one of my games that I've been playing before I started this Let's Play, I was usually... What? Who's there? Ah, good. I'm good hit. I was uh, level one, uh, 107, I think. So at that level, you kind of are always confident. Because there's not a lot that can actually damage you. You typically have some pretty uh, spiffy gear at that point. Okay. Which keeps it interesting when you decide to go back and try starting from scratch. I think this is probably my fourth or fifth game of Fallout. Okay. So we have a skirmisher. Definitely want to make sure that we have a good line of retreat here that we can do backwards. Cotsworth. Hey. Get him. Come on, Cotsworth. Keep at it. Over there. 
that one. That's your target. Go there. So apparently Comfort has gotten confused by the stairs. I wish I knew boss was better. I, I think that uh, it would be neat to know for sure how how faithful the, these uh, recreations are. But, um, okay, so I think, wait, is this, that's north. Okay, I think we want to keep on heading south. And this road probably will take us. Into, uh, good neighbor. Keep saving. It's because although dying does give you a sense of humor, doing it over and over again can be a little bit brutal. Is that the entrance? That could be the entrance. No, I think it is. Hey, I'm all in. Take go a look. Take care of that me. for any that are probably are too dangerous for us to reliably be able to take them out. So we're going to try to be a little bit sneaky, except we're not very good at being sneaky yet. Okay, so these are our raiders, I think. Yep, raiders. See if we can just inject a little bit of fun into their lives. Or shrapnel. Okay. I've actually knocked multiple Nice. Oh. Great job at finding the entrance to Good Neighbor. Which, if I remember right from past playthroughs, is actually kind of hard to find. Oh, that that looks like the right direction. I think we're actually looking into Good Neighbor, but. You can't go in that way. But I think the entrance then is over this way. So 
So if we just follow the left hand rule, keep going but always turn to the left. Yeah, initially I was horrified when I found, uh... Oh, I might actually use that. Nice. Nice when you end up getting random uh, legendary weapons, and they end up being uh, things that you might use. Uh, cool keys are not that useful. We should take this down, let's wait for the fire to fade. Actually, let's pick our, pick our upgrade. Um, medic is kind of tempting. Can't do gun nut yet. Can't do strapper yet. Armor would be pretty useful. So we're going to bump up our strength to get us closer to it. Because it would be nice to not die quite as often. Both because it's not that fun and because it's it makes for poor cinema in the, in the let's play. Okay. We go east. A whole bunch of uh, dead raiders here. Probably an interesting story. Maybe they were all killed by the mole rat. By the mole rats. Again, we're following the left hand rule. Keep on tapping our targeting button. Should tell us we're hitting the bow sooner or later. That hitting it should tell us sooner than we otherwise would notice if we're getting near any bows. So we hit a bit of one, but we already tried that with the left-hand pool. The left-hand pool doesn't actually work that well when you're when you have multiple levels or uh, layers of the map, because you can easily have loops like that. I mean that's true to a certain extent, even if you don't have multiple levels, and that you can reach things and then decide I'm going to start to follow the left-hand rule, and then you find out that it's not useful because. Uh, you're on a, because uh, you can have some of these loops in two-dimensional maps, but there. there's a watcher. I will try to do this. Good ease. Budge. Wait, ah, uh, hit the wrong button. That's why. Apologies, I have to do a little bit of inventory management. Because I probably picked up... I don't know why I'm carrying multiple... bits of uh, armor. That gets a little bit ridiculous. There we go. I'm hitting the wrong button to pick things up. Okay. And I think I'm managing to get pretty lost. I definitely don't want to go into the mall because generally those tend to be inhabited by pretty nasty foes. So in order to keep following the left hand rule, I need to go up and around. So it's like it's raining. I'm imagining in a radioactive world, rain would be a pretty iffy thing, since it, it would probably clean the air, but it would keep pulling junk out of the air, depositing it at you. Oh, wait, is this... Oh, uh, that's not good. Except... Cosworth? Heads up. Go check that out. Check out that dog. Definitely 
I want to get a few hits in so I get some, oh, I didn't get enough hit, hits in to get some experience credit. But, okay, that's a sign that says good neighbor. That is a very good sign that we have finally figured out how to get into this place. But really, we're just here to put this on our map. We might not actually go inside because... Well, yeah, let's go in. Because there's a shop there and we're carrying around a lot of junk that we can probably sell. I guess there's that general pattern that's pretty much common to all RPGs. Hey, don't you ignore me! Yeah, sorry, dude. May I make some on you? What are you well, care? well, look she at her ladyship. No love no. over Mayor Finn. Ain't I said let her go. You soft hand cop. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. Oh, I One skipped day. the uh, the dialogue. Nice. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. No, <laughs> why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, sister? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Of the people, for the people. Oh, brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away. So long as you were... Uh -huh. So it feels a little bit more villainous when you skip the cutscene. So what that cutscene was supposed to be... Well, hello. Everything here is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Let's take a look. Murder and mayhem at it. Uh -huh. Yep, yep. So what was supposed to happen there was that he was supposed to suggest that you needed protection money to make your way through a uh, good neighbor safely. Let's see, damage is 10, damage is 18. So we'll get rid of the auto pistol, a whole bunch of things to get rid of here. And and then Hancock, the guy we just met and who we'll probably have more dealings with later, comes and he's not particularly cool with uh, how it all went down. 308, don't have anything else that uses 308, which is fine. Because uh, certainly an early game managing of ammo is uh, is a concern. But yeah, Hancock knocks him off for demanding protection money from you. And then, uh, yeah, that kind of sets the, the, the flavor for what this uh, town is like. So here, what we're doing is selling all of our temporary uh, irradiated uh, like food that survived the war. Okay, that is good. Produced our weight. Oh, new face walks into my store, and you're not even screaming at me. Mm -hmm. Got any work? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories. You get those lumbering brutes? Uh -huh. I don't think that's enough. You got a good point. Sure. You got a deal. Thanks. Mm hmm. Okay. So Codsworth doesn't really like it when you ask for more money to do things. But. Again, at this point in the game, I'm poor. Uh, I'm a little bit worried because I just kind of let him down twice in a row. But what we're going to do now, actually, is head all the way back to Abernathy Farm with fast travel and drop off of our uh, drop off our junk. Yeah, usually what I do... 
Okay, now we're down to just 85 pounds worth of stuff on us. At a max of 230, that's not too bad. Plus we're gonna head in and cook anything that needs cooking. Is it inside? There we go. Eaten hound chops are particularly nice because they heal some of your radiation when you uh, eat them. I don't think there are other foods that do that. Okay. Cool. So all in all, we've had a pretty successful uh, time of it. We found Good Neighbor, dropped off a whole lot of our stuff, And we have a decent diagonal variety of fast travel points that we can use to move throughout the Commonwealth. I'm pretty sure we're not ready to go uh, to go to the um, public library yet because that involves a whole lot of events that you kind of have to be stronger for. Actually, I wonder if there's a weapons workbench here. I might be able to upgrade my uh, chem workstation. No, although you can get some good uh, it's XP good to know there's still that good too. Uh, not seeing one. And unfortunately, I don't yet have supply lines uh, between my settlements, so I'm not going to easily be able to... Is there one upstairs? Because all the junk that you keep on popping off, it's used as materials to improve your weapons or armor or whatever. And since I've, I think, maybe I've been dropping stuff off here. I haven't been playing particularly often because I've been incredibly busy uh, with work. I'm guessing that this is kind of like a guest house for the settlement. I think it's outside the bounds proper. It seems like if you were if you were a trader and you wanted to come and trade with this with the farm, you would find this to be a good place to know about. Later on in the game, raiders will occasionally uh, attack any and all of your settlements, and you'll just get noticed. Hey. Raiders are coming nearby. That's kind of another acceptable break from reality in the sense that there's probably no way that you would know. We're certainly not in time to make it back. So at this point, we are going to just kind of wander around, and keep on, uh, we're going to keep on trying to expand our repertoire of, uh, Low on ammo for this weapon. Not this weapon. You don't want to get too close to those guys because they will get aggressive if they feel threatened. Yeah, we're hoping to expand our repertoire of um, fast travel points. A bit weird that we end up seeing so many. Also hoping to get more XP because with the combination of those two, you can make yourself more ready for future events. Because right now we're really pretty not ready. Not sure what this house is. We're moving up on. It is. Oh, it's, it's a cabin. Ghouls. Great. Ooh, there's a lot of ghouls. We're going to back off a little bit so that we have good visibility and where we can fire at them while they have to hop around to reach us. Okay. Okay. 
seems to have already gone a little bit down. Closer than we would like. That's okay. And now we build up our critical meter. made me dumb. It's nice that if you can, if you hit the head, you do double damage. Like, that's a, a fun, just little extra thing to aim for. The head is actually pretty hard to hit unless you're pretty close, which makes it dangerous to attempt to do that with, uh, against melee foes. But, but if they're already that close, you might as well try to do it so that you can finish them off before they can finish you off. Okay, so this foe is actually still sleeping. So we're gonna give him a little gift. Sweet. It's a nice one too. We do the thinking and planning and the initial strike. Up with the mop up. Still collecting everything we can. So that when we actually start building our settlement, and I'm looking forward to doing that in the let's play. Such disarray, I wouldn't know where to begin if I had to clean up this mess. I almost wish that you could order Cogsworth to clean up this uh, this mess. Although admittedly that that is a kind of a weird topic. In that uh, uh, some nice goodies. Some people are actually comfortable having servants. I've, I have some political objections to even the idea of that. In the sense that I think if you're so busy that you can't handle managing most of the direction of your, uh, your life yourself, then you should make yourself less busy rather than find ways to farm out responsibility to other people. Now, admittedly, this is a weird and weird point to make in New York City, where we all kind of depend on each other. I think Wayne Gorski might have done a... Might have been a um, sports person of some sort. Okay, we're definitely not radiation shielded, so this is going to be iffy thing. But we'll grab everything we can. And as quick of a trip as you can. That's one do it yourself project. Get out of here because we're getting pretty early. And that gives us Diamond City on our map. Okay, even that brief trip in there gave us maybe about an eighth of our health gone. And permanently gone until we use Red X. Let's see if we can actually do any improvements here. We have the heavy frame, so this does 14 damage. A hardened receiver would I guess up to 16. We can't do 19 yet, because that requires gun nut rank 2. Oh no, that's a different 19. So even with the stuff that we have on us, we were able to do some small improvements on this thing. We do anything like that here. No, we don't have the, the gear. But for our main weapon, for a damage boost, that is that is a win. Some ammo. Unfortunately, our we haven't been able to do anything with our armor in the same way. To to really do that, we're going to need to instead of selling armor. We need to bring it back with us to a base and disassemble it and use it to assemble um, or use it to improve. This atmosphere is rather unpleasant. Let's see what we've got. Do we have any new things within sight? No, we don't. Maybe northeast of Starlight Drive would be a good place to go. 
or east. We're just, again, we're, we're just trying to fill in the map and get more XP. Clear this. Oh, events occasionally happen here. That's a settler. I think it would be some ah, Look at all the blood. You can kill raiders. And oftentimes. Hi. You just showed up in the nick of time. You looking for a new place to settle? Could be. Why? Do you know of somewhere good? I sure do. Sweet. So you basically get some free settlers without the need for, um, without the need to to build a recruitment uh, tower or anything like that. Uh, we're gonna leave Sanctuary Hills alone for right now. Abernathy Farm already has people, but. Maybe having these guys man the Starlight Drive-In. No, Red Rocket. Uh, Red Rocket is actually one of my favorite settlements. Thanks. See you there in a day or two. And, uh, and so actually having some people there would be pretty sticky. Uh, let's... We're actually going to grab everything from these guys because... We would like to improve our gear and improve their gear. And right now, they, there's no food there. We have a little bit of work to do to make that place um, livable. I'm also going to try something a little iffy here. There are some explosions. Yep, there's some traps in here. I have to stop pressing that button. Well, and that button. The hazards of not having played this for a while. I think there's one more explosive in here and I'm not seeing it. Did not manage to see it before it went off. Glad it didn't manage to kill me. Remember the the first time I uh, I I was playing Fallout 4 and I visited here, it actually did kill me, and that was such a not quite a controller throwing moment because it was very funny, but it was also incredibly annoying. Do some looting here. Take a quick nap to restore our health. And then we're gonna head out. First we're gonna swing by Abernathy Farm to pick up some pots to plant. But you'll see Red Rocket Truck Stop now has seven people in it. I don't remember there actually being seven that we rescued, but Again, I, I think the number is either pretty random or they're part of a broader group of settlers that... Okay. Seems to be growing well. Let's get some things that we can plant. Hopefully this is forgivable. Okay, that's a lot of potatoes. Okay, now we're ready to head up to Red Rocket and give them a food source. Now, potatoes, they're not a great food to use in your settlements because settlements have an object limit and potatoes are not the most efficient thing that you can uh, you can put, uh, put down. But, but we don't have anything better at the moment. So, actually, maybe while we're here, because we have more stuff stashed here. Oh, well, I, 
guess I think we probably need all of our uh, adhesive. Adhesive early game is quite valuable. So dog meat is here. And we will soon have settlers here. Oh, except here it says there's three people, not seven people. I, I think I remember there being three people there. Okay, so we have gourds and melons and stuff. Where do we want to put our initial... Uh, um, seems really unfortunate to... Um, to be doing this where a gas station was, of all places. Because gas stations... I think the inevitable leaks of petrol onto the, uh, onto the ground kind of poisoned the land around them. And so any food that you grew here would probably be toxic. But at the same time, this is one of the settlement places, and if it's going to happen here, then it's going to happen here. So let's... Maybe this is kind of a nice picnic area. Seems like what we really would like to plant is meat fruit, because it provides a full one food for every object. So we'd be less at risk of exhausting our, our stuff, but we can always adjust this later. Oh, we don't have a lot of that. Uh, do we have... Okay, there are our potatoes. And Nice row. Another nice row. I was interrupted by having put the uh, other things there. Okay, so there'll be at least some food here for our settlers once they show up. Can we get them water? Yes, sweet. That produces three water, which is good enough for now. Put our water pump here. I wonder if we can actually... Oh, nice. We actually have enough materials to build some defense here. Ordinarily, I like to have these pretty high up so that foes can't find them. But... We don't have that luxury right now because we have not really built this settlement up much. Uh, I guess I could build stairs. Maybe I should. Some food inside the electronic. at least a little bit of protection. Like, nobody's going to run right up and whack it if it's raised off the ground. And we probably, we definitely need to have some beds for them, too. At this point in the game, we're not going to really try and make it too uh, homey. Later on, we're actually going to find convert these into places where we could imagine somebody living a good life. But for now, we're just aiming for... Okay. Well, we're just aiming for a little bit. Let's move this outside. For actually, that would rust. Put it... going. Good enough. Uh, we're we're going to convert this into a small uh, bedroom. Move 
this outside for now. And we have three people who need some place to sleep. We have materials needed to build 11 beds. Let's put one of them in here. Maybe have one person who's an engineer who will sleep in the garage. We'll need four jacks. That water cooler looks like it's seen better days, but we'll leave it for now. It's based on the theory that uh So where will our third person sleep? I don't want to leave them too much in the end. I'd like, if somebody's in here, it would be nice to think that they could close the garage door at night and have some level of security. We really should have a third, uh, third place that's safe. Well, for now, we will just have a second uh, bedroom here, kind of in the middle of the garage, which is a really lousy place, because they're highly visible, but we're going to take a, a nap and see if our settlers are there in the morning. Since if they are, then we can assign some of them for food, and then we have a working settlement. Uh, yeah, so nobody got auto assigned. Not sure if they're even here yet. Which is weird, because it's not a super long distance. Oh, there we go. Okay, Mr. Baseball Cat Man, you are going to be... Sure. A farmer. Sweet, six food. Actually, we have room for another farmer. Where did the other people go? You guys are probably figuring out where you can be. Um, yep, it's not going to be that easy to eat. Oops. Got it. We should eat too. Sweet. Okay. So, we actually have a working settlement that we built. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, if you're going to do that, you probably should be our official guard, maybe. Yeah. Wait, where do you go? Okay. Your job okay. is security. Awesome. Yeah, so we've built a working settlement here. It's very minimal. It's not particularly exciting. We have a dog. We have three people. We have a uh, place to cook. Places if unfortunate for people to sleep. Let's, let's leave this down. Because so long as people are sleeping in there, we would like them to sleep with some security. And we have defense, food, water, basically all the necessities. It's not a particularly secure or wonderful place, but it is a place where you could imagine people staying for a time. And as we go through future Let's Plays, we're going to aim to make it into a place where people actually might be happy living. Definitely not there yet but it is a goal. And we're going to clean up some of the scrap and all that stuff. But for now, I think I'm going to leave this video uh, with that. And in future videos, we'll, uh, we'll, we're going to keep on growing our settlements, and we're going to keep on expanding, getting ourselves better, uh, better here, and so on. So, 
Uh, this has been the third Let's Play episode of my, uh, or of, uh, for my Let's Play of Fallout 4. And you will see me whenever I get the time uh, doing a fourth. Take care.